Hello and welcome to the second video of the day. Now I did not plan this video. Of course, NGMAL just dropped their brand new releases for August 2020. So I'm gonna have a look at them and see if they're gonna sit on shelves or sell out. Uh, now I would appreciate if you would uh, leave a like for this um, video. It is already past um, 10 o'clock p.m. here in Switzerland and I'm still taking the time to do this video. So please leave a like, I would really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off uh, this release, we have a 747SP in the Las Vegas Sand livery. Um, now this is the first uh, SP released by ng models um, i saw the mold how that looks it looks absolutely amazing now can i use it for my collection probably not but i want to review this mold it looks amazing so i'm probably gonna get this and since this is the first 747 sp ng models produced i definitely think this model will sell out then we have a southwest 737 800 kenyan blue in the old livery um, they released one with split scimitars like three months ago. I missed out on that release. It sold out very, very quickly. All Southwest bottles do. I'll try to get this one. And I think in general, this one will also sell out for sure. Now an airline that was not covered that much by NG models so far was Delta. Uh, now they're releasing a Delta 737 in the Sky Team livery. I was really hoping for a regular livery one. At first I thought, well, Sky Team still cool, I might get it. Uh, now looking back, I don't think I will get it uh, after all because I don't really need it for my airport. It is a very nice model though, and I think a lot of US collectors are looking forward to that. So I think this one will also sell out. For the first 757, we have a Martin Air one. I just don't think there is that much hype around this model. I don't think that many people are trying to get this model. So I think this one is the first model from this release that's gonna sit on shelves. Now this American 757 looks absolutely amazing in the chrome livery. They did release one of those before I have that one, the one with winglets. Now this one has uh, the title of luxury liner also written on it. So that means um, it was fairly new. Uh, all the new airplanes used to have the luxury liner from American Airlines painted onto them. Uh, I would really like to get this one. I think this one is definitely gonna sell out. Uh, I might see if I'm gonna sell the one with winglets and get the one without because I like that one better with the chrome American livery. For the first Dreamliner we have this Vistara 787-9. Phoenix also released this exact model um, with their August releases and I don't think there are that many people wanting this model. Um, it is a Indian airline. So nice for you Indian or Asian collectors out there. It's nothing for me and I don't think a lot of people will buy this one. So I think this one is gonna sit on shelves for a while. Then with this Qatar 787-9, um, now Gemini also just uh, announced that they're gonna release this model even with a flaps down configuration. Um, there are gonna be three of these models on the market and I just don't think that this one is gonna sell out. And by the way, have you noticed that um, Normally it's the other way around and Gemini Jets kind of copies NG with their releases. Uh, for example, with the uh, British Airways 787-10. And now it seems to be the other way around that NG is copying Gemini Jets. Now we have a 787-10 from Singapore Airlines. Looks like a very, very nice model. This one has the little 1000 uh, underneath the cockpit window. I think this stands for like the 1000th Dreamliner delivered or something like that. So if you know that, uh, let me know down below. I did not have time to Google it this time around. Uh, anyway, very nice model. I definitely think this one is gonna sell out. Next up, we have a National Airlines A330-200. Um, the model looks all right. Uh, I don't think there are gonna be that many people looking for this model. Uh, I know that Jace Young's released one in the one to 400 scale a while back. Um, I just don't think this one is going to be that popular. For that reason, I'm going to say this one is going to sit on shelves as well. Then we have another A330-200, this time from Fiji Airways. Um, very, very nice livery and I think a lot of people want this model, not just because of the livery, but also because it is quite useful for some model airports. So I think this one will sell out. 
Then last but not least, we have another Singapore Airlines 787-10. This one is in the regular livery without the 1000 sticker on the front. Um, I was actually thinking about getting this one for my model airport. I'm not sure if I want to get it yet. I think my wallet has to decide on that one. Uh, anyway, I think this one is also gonna sell out. So that was it. I think it looks like a very solid release. There is something for everyone. Um, probably my favorite model from this release it has to be the American 757. Also the Southwest 737. Those are the two models that I will most likely get. Oh, and of course the um, 747SP. Uh, so those three models, I will have to see if I can get uh, all three, maybe just one or two of them. Um, anyway, uh, very good models, um, nothing to complain about. Let me know down below in the comments which ones you're gonna get. Uh, and also let me know if you disagree with my opinion uh, on the models. So yeah, that was it. Thank you very, very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.